Daryl Asbury here with us. Coach, glad to have you along. How are you? Good. Nice long trip from Houston, huh? <laughs> yeah, great. Glad to be here. But good news, the SWAC football championship is coming to a town near you and your city at that. Yes, it is. It is. It's Talk about that feeling. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, we, we're still under uh, postseason restrictions for the next two years, but uh, we'll be winding down and hopefully to continue to stay there. And, you know, all you ask for is an opportunity to, to be a part of something like that. And uh, we, we're very excited. Coach, talk about those uh, postseason or those sanctions. Uh, and you, you had some restrictions again. Even in the spring, you guys, as a result, uh, weren't even able to go through uh, spring practice, of course. Is that correct? Yes, you're well, correct. How, how difficult is that trying to transition into the fall? Uh, it was, it was, it's very difficult, but as a coach, you, you try not to to let the kids know how difficult it, it, it's going to be. Um, but, you know, we're, we're behind. We know we're behind. Uh, we cannot wait until August 4th. Uh, we're going to hit the field on August, uh, I think, the 6th, I think it is. Um, you know, so, so it, it, it was tough. But the beautiful thing about it, we're coming in healthy. That's right. right. Nobody's banged up. You got that right. That is, there is a positive <laughs> to everything, right? Yeah, we, we're healthy. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time in the weight room. Uh, we had an opportunity to meet uh, within the restraints that the NCAA allowed us to meet. Mm -hmm. So we did get some positive things out of it. If you can't physically go out there and try to prepare and, and get through a spring practice, what other ways can you keep yourself active, I guess, and try to try to be proactive? coming into fall if you physically can't be out there on the field what kind of strategies did you guys have well it was good for us because they allowed us to to have some meeting time okay um you got you got a chance to we signed about 12 uh, mid-year guys okay so it, it was very positive it was very uh, positive for us to be able to to meet uh, get the playbook in uh, and, and then you know be able to get in the weight room uh, you, we still had conditioning. We still did our weights. Um, so I, I, I did see some improvement there in the weight room. Uh, the other thing was, as coaches, we had an opportunity to clinic against each other and, and, and you know, kind of step on each other's toes a little bit and right. challenge each other. So it got real, it got personal. Sure. But, but and again, it was very positive. Yeah, Darrell Asbury, Texas Southern head football coach here with you. Uh, here with us, a Baton Rouge native, former quarterback at, at Jackson State. Uh Talk about that quarterback position, and you lost three guys, correct, early correct. last season. How difficult was that? Uh, it was very difficult. When you have to take a, a red shirt freshman that was on a red shirt and bring right. him off. That's always tough. It was tough, and we knew he was not ready. Right. Uh, and, and we had to throw him in the fire, in the fire real quick. But this year, um, we have, a, we have a, a slew of quarterbacks. Um, you know, we have a, a young man that we're very excited about that we signed out of uh, Louisiana, Jay Kristoff. Right. Very excited about that young man, Tracy Johnson, uh, along with a, uh, a transfer that, you know, happened to uh, fall in our lap. Right. And we're very excited about him. And, um, of course, one young man came from Shaw University. So that, that position is going to get real interesting real quick. Uh, and, and the one that can lead us, we want to run a two-quarterback system. Okay. Uh, you know, and that's been very fortunate for for us in the past to be successful doing. Uh, but, you know, whoever can take some team leadership and lead this football program, uh, that's who's going to play. How beneficial is that for you when you run a two-quarterback system? Like, and I, I guess talk about the disadvantage it can present to a defense if it's ran the way you want it executed. Yeah, if, if, as a coach, if they run it the way we want it executed, it can cause a lot of problems. Uh, you know, they have to prepare for two types of quarterback, and especially if both of them can do pretty much the same thing, and sure. one may have a little edge on the next one. But if you have two great athletic quarterbacks and both of them bring something special to the table, it creates a problem for the defense. On the defensive side of the ball, now that we, uh, we, we, we go to this side, Jerry is more, 5'11", linebacker, 220. He is a Houston native. Um, what does he bring to you uh, for next season? We were very impressed with Jerry's last year. He was a freshman, true freshman. We threw him out there. We started noticing he was making plays. And, and you know, Coach kind of wanted to rotate him in and out, and I just said, hey, let's, let's keep this kid on the field. He's going to be our future. Uh, he's very positive, Very has a very high football IQ. Okay. Um, you know, and that was a 
part of the problem last year. You know, we, we didn't have a very f high football IQ. Right. And that young man brought a lot to the table. Uh, and, and he's done a great job for us, and we're expecting big things out of him. Another guy you got here with you, uh, along with uh, Jarius Moore, is you got a big target, Billy Rosenberg, 6'5", 230. Uh, a lot of people get away from the tight end. A lot of them still use him. Obviously, if you got one on your roster, you, you're looking to use him. How beneficial is it to have this guy back? He's a sophomore this season. Billy's, Billy's a tremendous athlete. Uh, we allowed Billy to go play basketball this past season. Is that right? Uh, he's okay. a very athletic young man. We felt that uh, if we if we allowed him to do that, that would help him with his footwork again. And um, We knew we were going to have spring ball. Uh, we plan on using uh, Billy a lot this, e this season. So that, that allowed us to, to um, give him an opportunity to get on the field. And, and continue to, to go through his, his, his fundamentals uh, with basketball, and uh, did a great job for him. So we plan on we plan on using Billy a whole lot this this upcoming sure. season. Now you waste no time in your opener, August thirty first. You guys get right to it. Yeah. With Prairie View. <laughs> no Christmas cards being exchanged between <laughs> you two schools. But talk about that game. And it, again, you didn't have spring, so this is the guy's first opportunity, really getting out there on the football field knowing that they're preparing for their arch rival, you don't have to give much motivation once you start practice in the fall, right? No, no not much motivation. I just hope we can stay healthy. Sure. Um, you know, going into a game like this, I've already told the coaches, we're not, we're going to have some contact in training camp, but we're not going to beat each other up because we did not have a spring. Sure. And you don't want to get anybody hurt. Right. You know, guys are very aggressive right now. They can't wait to put the pads on. <laughs> exactly. And I just don't want us to tee off on our own guy and hurt somebody. Right. Uh, if we can just get to the field healthy, get all healthy bodies there, uh, I, I like our chances. Disappointing season last year, of course, in your, in your first year. And what are the immediate improvements you're looking to get as you go into year two? Well, defensively, we, we're looking to get it cleaned up. Uh, sure. I brought Coach Mike Wright in and Coach Thornton. Um, uh, from Alabama State and sure. Coach Wright is my defense coordinator and uh, we, we had to get those areas cleaned up. We, okay. I wanted to go to, to the type of style of defense that I'm familiar with, the type of defense that have won championships that I've been a part of uh, as a head coach and uh, that was, was was big for us. And and then, you know, our offensive side of the football, quarterback position, our offensive line, we, you know, at Texas Southern, we just had to rebuild a whole phase of it uh, and you know we're still we're still a long way away uh, we've only had two recruiting classes uh, and so it, it's been tough and with the restraints that the uh, NCAA has put on us you know it's tough when you don't get the full 30 to sure. be able to recruit and so you you open the season with arch rival Prairie View and then you make the trip to Huntsville Huntsville uh, Texas to take on Sam Houston which is definitely not a game you can you can push to the side either so talk about your non-conference schedule starting with Sam Houston State well they're, they're a great football team uh, national championship game two years in a row that's right <laughs> you know so uh, if we can get out of that game we'll make a push we, sure. you know we, we, we just don't want to get banged up right uh, you know with the lack of depth that we have uh, our kids will respond uh, it's a very resilient group we have about 42 kids in summer school they're working out they're training I don't hear anybody complaining, so that's a good good right. sign. Right. Um, so I'm expecting a very resilient group uh, against Sam Houston State, and then we got Howard at the end. Right. Um, who who's a couple guys on that staff, and I, you know, we're from the same neighborhood. And, oh, is that right? Um, the that eight, makes it fun. Yeah, the athletic director and I are real good friends. Um, so uh, it's going to be a very interesting non-conference schedule. Dale Asbury here, head coach from Texas Southern University. Coach, I really appreciate you stopping by and taking the time to talk with us, and good luck next season. Thank we'll you for having me. for you in your second year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Dale Asbury, Texas Southern head football coach.